Shana Ali Hoopa and welcome to a new Eurovision Hub reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to the songs competing in this year's Melody Festival in 2023. That's right. It's time for our Melfest reaction video. And so, like, for obvious reasons, I'm wearing an ABBA t-shirt. But before we get into that, you know the drill. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, to subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. I know, I've got another new background, it's crazy. Let's press play. Oh, see, I usually avoid Melfest until I sit and do this video. I like this. This is good. It's all right. I like it. I think all of us reactors are going to think about Kaino when we see this. I mean, we've all been dying to know what Sweden's version of the, the Kaino framework would look like. And here it is. Okay, Spirit in the Sky. Oh my god, this reminds me of Spirit in the Skies. Love your king. Love it. This might not be the strongest song, but it has such a Nordic feel to it, doesn't it? I pretty much love everything that Jan Hendrik does, but it does start to feel a bit the same all the time. That's got a fun beat to it, I like that. Uh, I love Jan Hendrik Fjallgren, but this song is not really doing it to me. Donna! Tony Sekilis is back with a song that she deserves. I love her. I love that she represents the trans community uh, in this contest. That's really cool. Really glad that it's a cohesive. It's a lot better than last year. I think this song is much stronger than last year's. Look at her outfit. Oh, what an outfit. This is the music I stream. I actively search for her. This is, this is, this is a bit of me. I mean, she looks amazing. Take a video, watch it slow, mo, 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 mo. And this beat drop, it just like kind of makes me want to dance. Oh. Also, the staging here is everything. This is fierce. But this song is a bit too generic for me. I think I liked our song from last year better. It's a literal copy paste of slow mo, but it's good. Girl power, love it. Okay, this is kind of cool. I love Maria. Oh! I, I don't like this song. I feel like this song's pleasant. I don't see it. Uh, uh, but that's about it. It's just not my type of song, unfortunately. It's just meh. This, I have to say, is not my favourite of her songs. Melfest, honestly, the best national final. Come on, look at this. Everything is superb. Mariette's fifth final. Wow. No, this is not really my cup of tea. Very, um, beige. My Norwegian twins. <laughs> Ooh, we've got some lasers. That is some very good staging going on there. I love the light thing. That looks cool. Gosh, if there was ever a Swedish entry, this feels like it, doesn't it? And here is the classic slip. Melody Festival song and staging. I was not expecting this from them. This staging when I tell you, ah! This is a genre of a song that I love. Okay, that's my jam. I love it. I can breathe without the air. I do want to say, if Sweden decides to send two Norwegian boys to Eurovision representing Sweden, I would be very surprised. <laughs> so many of these songs have like a build up to a chorus and then it's like a break that is like a dance, which is not, Necessarily my genre of music. So catchy. It's so catchy. This is the kind of thing that I like to listen to actually. Well, that's Euro Club friendly, isn't it? Amazing song, amazing vocals, amazing staging. This is just so elevated and fun and professional, modern. It's just everything. They should be in the top three, in my opinion. I love it. You know, this is a Melody Festival and Anthem of 2023, isn't it? Yes! I love how that does. This is just joy. Dance, Ella, Natello, way! I'm on my way, eh, eh. Come on. It's giving me just dance. It's a little bit of a soccer song, isn't it? That's fine. Ah, uh, this is a crowd pleaser, for sure. Oh, honestly, I love them. 
But it's not for me. I would love Sweden to send something like this. I don't know if this year is gonna be the year, but I'd love them to go to Eurovision. This, I also like. This feels like 2012 or something. It's fun though. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, this is nice. Nice ballad. Love the outfit. This is a very polished ballad sung really well. This one's a shame. I think Maria deserves a better song. This song sounds like it's from a national final in 2011. It's just so cliche. She has a very good voice, but the song is a bit bland and the lyrics are cliche to say the least. I don't understand the hype about this. The song in itself, it doesn't like catch me. But I want to say there's nothing in this that like wows me. Oh, that's a voice. Mm, oh, a bit bored. I have the feeling that I already listened to that song like 300 times at uh, Melody Festival and... Nice! I love the energy, but... This doesn't do much for me. Do we have room for another band? <laughs> Maybe? Oh, I really like the staging. Sounds like um, early noise. My, my primary school kind of listening. I tell myself that I'm not a rock band, but I need to stop lying. Denial is a river in Egypt because this is good. On a Sea Metal Deep Festival in 2023, why do you have so many bops in the final? Why? I actually really like it. And I love the fact that we have this sort of rock element song in Mel first at final. Oh, honestly, I feel like they've entered this in the wrong year because any other year, this could have actually won. I usually like these type of songs, but this is like meh. Okay, this is kind of cool, this one. This is a very nice proposition for Sweden, at least for a Melfest final. A nice, nice entry for sure, but this isn't going to do it for Sweden, I think. Very much teenage pop, Sarah Larsson vibe. It kind of has like an Avicii sound to it, you know? 16! 16 and she's doing this! I think she's very impressive. Staging for this is awesome. Melfest always nails the staging. But for being a 16 year old, She's very good. It's given Love Island, it's given UK, but in the best way. Any of these could win, could lie, really. Here, there's another dance break. Like, it's a build up, and then it's like, let's dance. Like, this is Sweden, please. Yes, get those moves, but it feels like, I don't know, in 2012. All right, I love the choreography here. That's cool, but this song is too generic for me. And she can sing. <laughs> very good voice. Okay, that's not original, let's admit it, but that's good. That's amazing. Okay, this is quite basic now, but I kind of love it. <laughs> Joe, I really would love Sweden one year to send a song in Swedish. Can't wait for them to send something in Swedish again. Not this song, but a song in Swedish. Yeah, we can definitely hear the Swedish production. Nordic production, yes. A little, of, uh, little bit of tradition. I think we all know that this ain't gonna win, but it's it's fine. I don't mind it there. It's just very heartwarming. I really enjoy this. Okay, sorry for rolling my eyes. <laughs> like, Nuenmal is very loved by the public, by the Swedish population. But this song is meh. Oh, I like this. Get it, Nordman. Go boy, up, up. Hey. <laughs> like it has some like kind of folklore, like very Swedish elements to it. Oh, this is a breath of fresh air sonically. This is nice. Well, that's a bit pop, isn't it? Lorraine, Madame Lorraine, the Queen of Sweden. Of course, Queen is here. Oh. And the Queen, Lorraine. What can we say about it that hasn't already been said? This, as a full package, is like in another league. She's back. <laughs> she is back. Oh my God. I don't even think I have enough words or enough time to tell you how much I love this. <laughs> I mean, we don't even need a final this year. Let's just send her straight away. It's hers to lose. I don't know how the other competitors must be feeling knowing that they're going up against her. I don't really think anyone is winning but her. Is it time? Is it time for her to come back? Yeah, it is, isn't it? She's coming for the trophy. She's just done it again, hasn't she? It's its, it's, its own league, this song. Legendary that she's part participating again, but I, I don't really like the song. 
I really, really, really like it, but I don't know if this should be Swedish entry. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> See us! I like this. It's, it's cute. For Svenska. Yeah, this is fine. I love that with Theos, you're always gonna get a show, you're always gonna performance. What a guy. Oh, it's a nice song, actually, but I mean, we've seen this before, right? I mean, it's a good song. I can listen to it like on the radio. I'll bop to it. But it's like, like how can you? How can he not make you happy? I'm so glad he made the final. We don't, isn't he? Wow. Now, I don't know what this song has, but it's such an ill one. The Pyros, yes. What a final. Little feel good jam. I shouldn't be enjoying this as much as I do. Ooh. This is not bad, but it isn't amazing either. So far, I'm not gripped. I love that Paul Ray did something different. So far, that's my least favorite. Oh, everything is just packaged so well, isn't it? This just has everything as well. Oh, I don't like these lyrics. Oh, very basic lyrics. I would guess maybe like a ninth or tenth placement in the final. Probably my least favorite of the final. Oh no, I hate this chorus. Ach oh, no, I hate those lyrics. This chorus is just asking to be sung back to him from an arena full of people. No, I don't like this at all. Maybe I actually like a Paul Ray song. This is nice. This is very radio friendly. So cringy. Oh God. On. That was it. Well, I don't think there's any question who's gonna win Melvis this year. There's a lot there I like, but we kind of know, don't we? We know. We know she's coming back, right? Well, that is what we thought of the 12 songs competing to represent Sweden at this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Please let us know down in the comments below what you think. Until next time, see ya, bye!